Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. That's Niagara Falls. Uh, it's almost winter when I took that, uh, probably eight or nine years ago. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today, I'd like to share my poem devotional extracted from 2 Corinthians 1, verse 17. It says, You may be asking why I changed my plan. Do you think I made my plans carelessly? Do you think I am like people of the world who say yes when they really mean no? Here's my poem. God isn't fickle. Some people change their minds often. They can be indecisive and not be open. Humans make choices out of their comfort zones. God sees all and decides without hesitation. God isn't fickle like most people. He doesn't waver. He is faithful. He means what he says and follows through. He never goes against his nature and the truth. Here's my essay. The hardest thing to deal with is to be with an indecisive and inconsistent person. I once lived with someone who never wanted to make any decisions about things. When you ask him, he never gives you a straight answer. I don't know yet, or we will see, are the replies I usually get from him. Because I was in a relationship with him, it was very hard to make plans because he wouldn't want to get involved in it. I think he feared that his time will be compromised when he commits to something. He just wanted it all for his convenience. When he finally gives an answer and sees that someone is benefiting, he would take it back. The Bible describes God as a very decisive and consistent person. Prayer. Lord, please help us all believers to take responsibility for, the, the, for our decisions and choices. Reflection. How would you help someone who doesn't make a choice or decision about anything? Well, the Bible says that we need to be uh, patient and understanding with each other. So um, it will be nice to gently um, tell the person that um, it would be a good idea if they um, make a choice or um, make a decision. But prior to doing that, I think it would be best that you speak to the Lord and pray for this person. Pray that you were given the right occasion to, um, to, to nudge him or to her or to um, present the Word of God and how important it is that we make decisions and uh, make choices because God is a very decisive person. And remember in Genesis it says that we are made in the image of God. So if he is a decisive person, he made us into one. Uh, one of the tricks that Satan does to us is to make us not make a decision, make a choice. He just wants us to go around in circles so that we will not progress in whatever we do. So making choices, we, we make a lot of choices almost every day, little, big choices. But I think it's important that we are aware that our choices and our um, decisions would be in um, sync with God's will. And so it's important for us to be able to also have a relationship with the Lord and know what needs, uh, what He wants us to do and what His character is so that we can follow Him. So I encourage you, when you start uh, being changeable, changing your mind back and forth, um, just remember that God isn't fickle and that uh, we need to emulate Him because He made us that, like Him. So, thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have yourself a wonderful day. God loves you so much. So do I. So stay consistent and um, be decisive.